And now on Radio 9, once again we are looking back again, as part of our bootleg season, again. Tonight, we dig deep into the archives of defunct German broadcaster Deutsche Fernsehfunk, bringing you a unique opportunity to hear a piece of the history previously denied to Western hearing equipment of the infamous Heartstring Band, a.k.a. The Tops. This previously unavailable recording is from their controversial European tour, known as Irmanza, back in the winter of 1978. So, sit back and sit the sound. The year is 1978. The city is Dresden. The band is The Tops. With brief introduction by the band recorded recently. It's, um, it, it was interesting to hear it. Um, it's something which I haven't heard for a long time. It was partly forgot. And then, um, you know, I heard it again. Um, and it it took a bit of my heart away, I must admit. Um, it was like the return of an old friend. Um, an old friend who you haven't seen for a long time and then uh, turns up. But turns up to borrow um, money. Um, so, yes, in one sense it was welcome and in the other sense it wasn't as welcome. It was a difficult time for us, a very difficult time. We were going through a transition. It was the 70s for God's sake. Uh, we had bunk, um, we had um, electrodes, um, we had all this confliction, plus the hormones of um, a man uh, approaching, or in fact in his 30s. So we had a lot to contend with, uh, and I think the music represented that. Um, through on one side we have a, a set of songs which bind like an egg yolk uh, would bind um, some sausage meat but on the other hand we have this new emerging star this new moon this new flower this growth um, and some of it being quite a dark growth a bit like a bit like a black plant um, that coming through and it saying to us and saying to our fans that yeah the tops are here but yeah the tops uh, are thinking about doing different sounds well a lot of people forget um we can't get in england uh, a gig in england at the time genuine truth you know um straight up the reason we couldn't get a gig in England because uh, England was in transition, which you know it was up, and you know we we, 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 we were young lads in our thirties, and uh, you know, and sometimes that um, intimidates people. Um, we, we 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 carried on true to ourselves, and I think by looking at this gig and. Um, if you were to uh, look at this gig in a, in a particular way, um, without actually analysing um, the uh, the sign of the times, then you could probably say, from start to finish, the um, your mum's at all was uh, was highly controversial. Um, not least to say, our excursion into uh, the east of Germany. Um, really uh, upset the apple cart. Not least with our, our record company. Um, we were going into a territory which had um, an autocratic uh, regime and um, you know the people they were queuing for food. Um, it was it was grey all over the place and our record company um, basically felt we wouldn't sell any records. So it was very controversial. Um, one of the regrets I have 
is the fact that I didn't actually get the chance to um, see the Berlin Wall uh, during the uh, Your Mum's uh, tour. Um, nor, uh, sadly, did we get a chance to see the Iron Curtain or uh, indeed touch it. So, yeah, we, we do have some regrets. Um, but a big thing for me was... Um, was when um, I got back, we got back, uh, back in England, uh, back home. Uh, that very night I received a phone call from uh, a young man, um, uh, a wakeman, and he basically spoke to me on the phone. Um, and that suggested to me that we, we, we were still relevant uh, and relevant to uh, y young people like him which, you know, was great. Sie bitte aus England und aus unseren Herzen der Hardstring Band der Zack.